Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so happy to have all of you guys back here again. Prep is not always easy. There's going to be moments of weakness. There's going to be moments of challenge, and that comes with any journey in life. No journey in life is smooth sailing. There's ups, downs, there's highs and lows, but inevitably we have to push through those lows in order to fully appreciate the highs. This is what my morning is looking like. I've got my lovely egg whites and crispy rice. If you guys watched my last full day of eating, you will know that this is one of my favorites. I just topped it with a little bit of cinnamon and I cooked the egg whites and the rice together until the rice gets a little bit crispy. Go watch that full day of eating if you're interested in seeing what I'm eating right now. Starting my day also with an NLA for her, her probiotic, and of course my morning devotional. This one is Closer to God Each Day by Joyce Meyer. You would have seen this in my March favorites. So if you're interested in where I got it, go check out that video. All of the items are listed in the description box and it is off to a great morning today. What's up guys, here I am back again in my vintage Southern Illinois sweatshirt with, I think that's mustard, I'm not sure. But <laughs> keeping it real over here, prep life. We are having one of our probably like final-ish um, app meetings before the big launch next week. Coming soon. So excited. We have some updates to the features that I want to show you guys. That it would be beneficial to actually have a designated beginner button. So that little thing where the mouse is is a B. And it's going to essentially be um, a tab that, or a button that you can click on if you feel like you're more of a beginner using my app. And it will show only all of the exercises that I feel would be suitable for beginners. It'll tell you exactly which body part it hits and you're, you'll still be able to um, add that to your favorites and things like that. So the beginners button is new and then the journal section. So I'm not going to show you guys yet what it says. The meditation feature is now completely active. So I will actually be walking you guys through some guided meditation, which is so super cool. You guys know how much I am an advocate for self-care, so I'm really excited to be able to do guided meditation with you guys. So there'll be different themes that you can choose from, and then after you choose your theme, you'll be able to select the time limit that you want to meditate for. Very excited, cannot wait. I've been getting some really good feedback from you guys and hearing that you're really excited about it too. It's just like another way for me to connect with you guys and help you along your journeys, and ah, I'm just so excited. Okay. My pre-workout meal is just white fish, a half a cup of white rice, and some asparagus all mixed together in this beautifully delicious looking bowl. And I'm going to use some crushed black pepper and some cayenne pepper. So I went to the grocery store yesterday and bought all the asparagus. <laughs> It was 99 cents per pound. And if any of you guys buy asparagus, you know that this is absolutely unheard of. Like usually it goes for minimally $3.99 a pound, sometimes up to $4.99 a pound. I've even seen it higher than that. So 99 cents a pound, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm buying all the asparagus. I eat lots of other vegetables too, but asparagus is one of my favorites. I like green beans, zucchini squash, yellow squash. Uh, spinach. I love vegetables. I can't live without them. So again, this pre-workout meal, white fish, half cup of white rice, and some asparagus, and then I'm going to head to the gym. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents, and I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shot right now, I don't think that we could work this out out on the terrace.
photos and pictures of yourself on the internet, not on the terrace. We live in the arrow, this small town, on our own, cutting guys with the thrill of it, getting drunk on the past we were living in. If we go down, then we go down together. They'll say you could do anything, they'll say that I was clever. If we go down, then we go down together. We'll get the way with everything, let's show them we are better. Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my Favorite toner This is my holy grail of bronzers Tell me there's a better bronzer than this I don't believe it There's just that running, running, no. Hold on. So I just left Sephora I will show you the other things that I picked up as soon as I get home, but I stopped at the gas station and I'm at this like full service gas station. I pulled in and they're like literally pumping my gas for me. This is so bizarre. They're even like washing my windows. What? Good thing I have cash. I'm, I mean, I definitely need to tip them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so bizarre. I do remember when I was in New Jersey that that's like a thing there. All the gas stations I think are like full service, I guess it's considered. If you're from a state where this is like the norm, comment below and let me know because I mean, I'm not mad about it, this is great. <laughs> so weird. Back home and I'll show you guys what I picked up at Sephora. I grabbed the Hula bronzer. Like I said, this has been my favorite bronzer for years now, I've tried so many different kinds and I just always go back to Hoola. It is my absolute favorite. If you guys use this, you probably agree. It is so great. If you guys have other suggestions, I'm open to trying them, but I swear I can't find anything that compares to Hoola. I also grabbed the Hello Flawless. Um, it's just like a light powder. I got a new brow pencil. Comment below if you guys feel like your brow pencil just betrays you. What I mean by that is that the brow pencil gives you no sign or indication that it's about to run out and then just one day you go to fill your brows and it's like, hey, hey, you're not filling your brows today. They gave me a free sample of this Glam Glow Matte Glow Moisturizer. So I'll try that out tomorrow, see what I think. If you guys have tried this, let me know. And then just some spray detangler for post shower to easily comb through this mop. And then I got this top in the mail from Jim Memewear and it says Flexin. So that's pretty cute. Back home now, I am going to put some spot treatment on this friend that came to say hello to me right now. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Catch up on some client emails so that all of my girlies are ready to go for the week ahead and then just wind down on this Sunday night. Hopefully take an Epsom salt bath. I'm feeling so incredibly sore. My body knows that I'm getting close to my show and just every single muscle in me feels it. So I definitely need a good Epsom salt bath tonight. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I will catch you all in the next Okay, segment. so Erin, you can come back to the stage. Good, and you will stay in that front pose until the judges tell you, all right, ladies, go ahead and face the curtain. And then just do the same thing. Yep. Right yes, so what you do here, yep, you will essentially be going through exactly the same poses that you do in your individual routine, except on the judge's command. Good, perfect. And then they'll say, all right, ladies, turn around and come back to the line. Good, beautiful, Erin. Good, all right, ladies, face the curtain. And turn around and face the front. So you'll wave goodbye. Pretty good. Great, good job. Now remember, one little word of advice I have for you. If you forget to do something in your routine, remember, the judges don't know your posing routine. They don't know it. So there have been times where I've been on stage and I may like tweak something a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, but then I remind myself, 
the judges don't know your posing routine. So as long as you just recover and keep smiling and keep things fluid and flowing and looking natural, they won't know that you left anything out because they don't know your routine, right? So just always recover and transition to the front. Pretty, okay. What's up guys? So we are one week away from hopping on an airplane and heading to Australia. I can hardly believe that this prep is already coming to an end. I honestly cannot thank you guys enough for joining me along this journey, for cheering me on. All of your positivity and your words of encouragement have pushed me through on those days where I've had those inevitable low energy, low motivation days. But here I am one week from leaving for Australia and I'm feeling so excited and just so grateful for this opportunity. For me, this show is so much more than a placing. Of course I wanna do well, but just having the opportunity to be invited to a show that is so prestigious and stand on stage amongst girls that have competed at the Olympia multiple years in a row and have won the Olympia and have placed top five at Olympia, I just feel so grateful grateful to have the opportunity to be on this stage as well. I feel grateful, I feel accomplished. Honestly, doing well at shows is fantastic, but the real reward is more than a trophy. The real reward comes from the memories, it comes from the experiences, it comes from the things that you learn about yourself along the way. It comes from the amount of self-growth you have along the way. It comes from the amount of confidence you build along the way. Those are the real rewards. And so I am ready to just soak in every single moment of this experience and this opportunity and I am just feeling so incredibly excited and so grateful. I'm gonna crush this last couple weeks of prep, give it my all on stage, and I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me through everything these last couple of weeks, all the traveling, everything. I know in my last video I had mentioned progress coming a little bit slower this time around because I was taking a little bit different of approach with my cut, and some of you guys were wondering what I did differently. Essentially all I did was I waited to taper down on my macros and also waited to bump my cardio up in order to keep myself a little bit fuller longer throughout this prep. My feedback in previous shows was that I was coming in too lean, a little bit over conditioned for what they were looking for in bikini. And so the strategy this time around was to take things a little bit slower when it, com when it comes to cutting. Like I said, what I did was I just waited a little bit longer than I normally would to drop my macros and up my cardio. Over these last couple of weeks, macros have been cut, cardio has been increased, and I'm definitely seeing myself dial in the way that I need to be. And so I'm feeling good right now. I'm seeing it all come together and seeing the hard work pay off. And so I encourage you guys, if you're at a place where you're feeling stuck or feeling discouraged by the rate of your progress, stay the course and just stay consistent. Trust the process and know that if you keep putting in the work, the results will come. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos, that takes the time to comment. You guys mean the world to me. And so thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Let's crush the rest of this Arnold prep, guys. I will see you in the next vlog.